the ship to Africa. This juice is still fresh. I'm still dealing with that. My sister is not even here, right? But my sister now, we made a mess because we, she also was judging me for um, doing what I did too, for leaving, going to try this journey, but we actually made up. My sister apologized. We, this is when she was young. That's my sister, y'all. That's when she was younger, teenager. My sister and her, my sister and her husband passed away in a car accident. Both of them together. They back together six months ago. We was in Costa Rica when this happened, right? And she has four so kids. So my sister also has four children that my mom now has to raise. But before my sister died, we had the we had a really good relationship. She wanted to come to Costa Rica with us. She was waiting on her passport to come. She was she was so happy to see her sister happy. She was like, do your thing, y'all doing great. She was like, I, I love y'all. She was like really supportive of us. This right here. Yeah. This is my sister and her husband. They just passed, they just passed away, not even six months now. Six months now, my sister passed away. She has but four kids, But my sister yeah. has four children. My sister has been helping and us. And they have, and two of them have no Whenever mother and I no need father. Them, my, my nieces are no, no parents now. My nieces and my nephew has no parents at the moment. But my sister, before she passed away, she was helping us. If I needed help, my sister would, my sister would be there for me. She would help us. My sister flew all the way to Florida to help us. But now that she's gone, my family turned their backs on us because she's gone. They don't want to help us now because they said, well, but you're my sister. She was she the passed. reason why. She was the reason why. They basically people still said talking. she was the reason why the, the bridge of the family was together. And now they said they would never help us. They would never They're help us ever again. Us. I texted my cousin. My cousin, my blood cousin, I said, yo, I'm pregnant right now, and we going through a financial hungry, situation, right? I'm hungry, we just got robbed, and she said, and she just left it on scene, yes, she's still watching us, yes, she's still watching the stories, Yes. yes. and she said, oh, I'm not going to be like her, I'm not going to help y'all, yes. how, how cold is that, her and my grandmother, my, my own grandmother, like this. my sister would Excuse not me. like this at all, she would not like this at all. She would not agree to this shit at all because my sister used to help me. My sister used to help us. We may not have the best relationship, but what I'm telling you, I can tell you before she died, we had a good relationship. She tried. She tried her best. I got, I got screenshots of my sister telling me how happy she is for us. My sister wanted to come. My sister wanted, she was like, I want some sun, y'all. I want to get out of here. She was saying she wanted to get out of the cold. She wanted to come to get some heat. She wanted to come spend time with us. She was working on that right before she passed away. Thank you, um, Shardy. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Source Empress. We got, the, we got that in common. We got this, the son in common. She has a four-year-old also. And people judging you for getting you help from your young, for your children. <coughs> My own grandmother is not even helping us. She said she's so much, um, like, mourning so much. She's like, she don't want to hear no more bad news. Like, basically, just said, like, that's the end of our relationship, basically. Just because she has to raise four of her grandkids on her own. And she's not even, she doesn't even care about what we're going through. She doesn't want to hear about nothing. She says just, she don't want to hear no more news. Like, just don't tell her no more news. Mother. I just texted my mother. And my aunt, day. Yo, like, she tried, tried her, her best. best. Like, she tried her best. She tried her best to help, but yes. she tried her best to bring the family together. together she always yes. asks, how is the kids? Yes. How are you? Oh, my God, that's so true. She always asks, how are you? You know, stay in contact because yes. you never know what can happen. Yes, and her, and her husband died together in a car yeah. accident. She has a um, how old is Ava? Like five. Ava's like a fourteen-year-old so son, mm -hmm. um, like a seven-year-old um, boy. Ava's like her her daughter is six years old, and she has a little baby of, that's boy. like a baby boy that's like, like one year. Yeah, he's little over a year. And now. they don't have the two of them. Um, they made a daughter yeah, and last, son. The last yeah. children is um the last two kids. Last two kids is um a, a girl and a boy, and they don't even have a mother or a father. Right. So y'all don't know what people are going through. Before you say something, please look think about you know the things that. That actually happened in That's reality. That's my real sister, y'all. My real and sister. She was, she was a real her. one. Like she tried her best. I'm gonna really tell you, she tried her best. Even though she was stressed out, and everything. She yes. still used to help us. Yes. She still used to talk to us. Yes. 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 Her and her husband true. died in a car accident. That is so true.
And she was the one, like you said, she was the one keeping the family together. My sister was the one keeping the family together. She was, but now she's not here. It's like no family, no blood family now. Like that don't even exist anymore, you know, now that she's not here. Because she really was the glue for us. And she, she was the bridge. It's kind of like she knew she was going to pass away because she told me, she was like, she was like, Onika, check up on your family because you never know. Check up on people. And she said this like weeks before she passed away. So when she started telling me, no, I think it was a couple months before, a couple months before she passed away, she was like, check up on your family because you never know what could happen. And when she said that, I actually took that into consideration. And every once in a while now, I would check up on her. I would be like, sis, how are you doing? How is the kids? And she would always check up on us always ask me how was the kids how was Ezekiel I was a coach she was always check up on us but when I was so busy not uh, doing that that's when she reminded me please make sure you check up on your family and I did I started to do that and then next thing you know I heard that she passed we heard that she passed away and I'm telling you that was a shock to me it was such a shock it's like I'm still in the same shock because um, I can't believe it happened the right? thing she told me was like just live your best life like just mm -hmm. live a good life That's the last thing she told me was to live a good life. And I thought she was coming. <laughs> she, was, she was supposed to come to Costa Rica, but she didn't make it. And I was so happy. I used to have dreams about her coming with her kids, all of her kids. And then she used to tell me her dreams that she was depressed and she used to take um, drugs. And I was like, oh, and then Ezekiel, me, me and my brother was trying to help her in a dream. Right. But in re reality, like, she was going through a lot of depression and a lot of stress. Yeah, she was. So I just feel like um, that, you know, now she said to live my best life. That's why I'm going to take into consideration.